Lala, it's vegetable. They mix it with a lot of stuff. Okay, like mix. Yeah, mix. Okay, somebody make it and bring it in. Yeah. You sure? I can make it. Uh, next week on Friday. Okay. Yeah, we all bring a dish. So somebody bring it. Okay. Shut one up, but don't want to see. But it's easy. Come back. Give me my own. But it's okay. All right, so she finished her sharing. Okay, so we'll go to you. Oh, oh, oh you know you went in. I love it. All right, thank you for sharing. Okay, we go right I need the soup. Rice, chicken, and my language is my first language is Spanish. And English. I will. The view is wicked, my back. I'm a little bit of uh, Okay, not like this. I mean, I was like a kid. So. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we should eat like rice, chicken, mixed in with like green. That's like this thing for me. And then the salsa, which is like it's a little bit harder, and then you just eat that with like juice and food and whatever. Used to eat it with collagen. And then um, I speak Shona, and then English is my second. Oh, love it. All right, thank okay. you for sharing. You go that way, uh huh. And then my oh, that's all my stuff. My lady. <laughs> Oh, Pike County. Oh, Pike County. Oh, I hate it. Me. Uh, that was the 
Oh, I'm gonna go to the Chicken, steak, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the Okay, we love it. Haitian vegetable, red rice, sauce, black beans, mm -mm. and <laughs> 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 not all of us eat lalo. <laughs> and spaghetti, mm -hmm. yeah, and macaroni and cheese, but it's not the same to. It's different. It's different. I think, so. I think one student brought it to us. It's, it's so good. good. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. They brought us lasagna. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's something like that. I can't wait for funny because I'm a foodie girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go to Lala. Lala, what's your favorite food? Um, I love the Lala. Mm -hmm. I love the Lala. A little bit in Spanish. Okay. 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 And then in the middle? That's it. No. That's it. You, that's it. Oh, man. You got it. We got fake figures. Um, I'm going to um, pour salut and Asian. Oh. Mm. Um, Thank you. Um, Thank you. 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 Um, seafood, vegetable, <laughs> my language, uh, uh, Creole, Asian Creole, uh, French, English, so so so, Spanish. Oh my God, still not giving. Oh. Thank you. Share you, there. Tati. We might have to move it to one of the Tati, you. No, I'll fix the shit. That's just gonna fix the shit. No. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, where did I grow up? I grew up in San Mark. That's in Haiti. Um. What kind of food they used to serve at my house? Um. Black rice. Um, beans, of course. Uh, I don't know if you know something about free thai. Yeah. No, right. Free thai, um, uh, legume fei, legume fei, fei. Vegetable. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? Well, all the good stuff. Um, the language is Creole. I do speak French a little. <laughs> A little, right. And Creole. Um, and Creole. A little bit English. Oh, a lot of English. 
<laughs> oh, I did it. Ah, I'm free. Free. Don't pass out with me, y'all. I haven't taught the CPR class just yet. And then on the end, what do you have? Yeah, and switch it for this one. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, my God. Thank you. That's crazy. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Sorry about that. Luckily, you didn't get hurt. So, that's what you did. Okay, so my lady back here, um, let me guess, I'm from Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in Inch at 80, and I like in because it's the nicer city in Haiti, and the, um, the people in Inch is very friendly, mm. and uh, what kind of food? Okay, we serve at my house and a uh, legume, fish, fries, plantain, fries, plantain, nalo, with a um, pork fries, and uh, vegetables, and uh, many, many. I know I speak um, Creole, Asian Creole, French, and a little bit English. A little English. And then on the uh, Okay, so I'm from 30 minutes east of in New York. Um, so uh, yeah, I drive here every day. Um, so we eat a lot of uh, Mexican food, like tacos and fajitas, no, and Asian food, like uh, oh. chicken stir fries, uh, sushi. Uh, Indian food. Um, I like uh, spicy chicken, the, like chicken wings, chicken fingers, chicken sandwiches, and bean pizza. <laughs> so that's the chicken you get. And I speak English. Hey, we love it. Food. My food. Perfect. Um, fish. Duck. My plantain. Yum. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my, my language. Rituals like Muslims stay fast during certain times of the year. We would respect that. Um, I even have students that have to pray throughout the day. And they'll come to me, they'll say, Miss Chambrell, is okay at a certain time if I step out and do prayer? Absolutely. We provide a prayer mat. We have a quiet area. We don't interfere with that. Uh, we're going to encourage that they participate in religious services. Uh, they do have services different days throughout the week. You can just encourage your residents to go. Uh, respect religious items. That's like reading materials, jewelry, books. Uh, anything that they have, we will respect. Uh, a clergy references a religious leader. So if they want to see a clergy, please give them privacy. This isn't your time to bust in every five seconds. Hey, uh, do you need your dog break change? Hey, can I bring you water? Give them privacy. They got a visitor in there, right? Now here's where it's going to get sticky for some of you, especially if you are a very religious person. If you are asked, read religious materials aloud. That can get sticky if you're religious. If someone says, hey, can you read this to me? But it totally doesn't feel right with you, makes you uncomfortable. The only thing that we expect that you don't do is say, I don't believe in that religion, so I can't read that crap to you. There's always a way to do it, right? So what you might say is, uh, go to another coworker. You might say, hey, I know you usually don't mind reading this. If you read this for me, I'll do something for you. They'll think of the hardest thing they can find, I guarantee you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah? Oh, by the way, so-and-so needs a shower. Her whole bed needs changed. And by the way, she's a lawyer list. <laughs> That's the exchange you got to make, right? You can also go to a nurse and say, hey, Shambro, I don't feel comfortable with this. What would you recommend? Uh, and we are in technology, y'all, where you can get an Alexa, have the facility get the Alexa and have the, the Alexa app read it out loud. We got apps on our phone that we could just put the phone, set it up to read it out loud to them. But just don't make them feel uncomfortable, okay? So as it relates to the religion, uh, like I mentioned, you can't try to change their religion. 
I know I've been around people like this, some of you probably have, that will talk and badger about why your religion is wrong to your blue in the face. We can't do that to residents. Uh, I got one family member like that in our family group chat. Won't say his name, JD. Uh, but he badges, <laughs> <You're all>. <laughs> <laughs> he badges us all the time. And what's funny about people like that is they change their religion every six months to a year. And when they change, they want to convert the whole family over. So don't be that person at the facility. Uh, don't tell them their religion is wrong. Uh, real, real careful. Be careful about what you talk about at work, especially expressing judgment on religious groups. If you're on social media, you know that in certain parts of the country, there's a lot of stuff going down. Um, you can't necessarily come into work and discuss your opinions on it because you could be offending someone on either side of that issue. So we try to be very neutral. Uh, now, two things, two things. I strongly encourage that you never discuss with your residents directly or indirectly. What is religion? What's the second one, y'all? Politics. Politics, okay? Uh, y'all notice we didn't bring politics up at all this week. And we had a, we, politics this week happened, right? And we never discussed it. So uh, I guarantee you, residents will try to corner you. Four people working in healthcare yesterday probably had a rough day. Who'd you vote for? What do you think about president? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? This is what we can tell them. We can uh, love to listen to your views, but because of our policies, we can't discuss ours. Because technically, because there are residents, we can't just cut them off and say, I don't want to hear it. We can, you know, kind of listen to their views, but try not to dis discuss yours. And honestly, I find that I like people better in professional settings when I don't know who they are. I had one student, I love this student. Very helpful, helped me put in grades, kind of like a teacher said, I'm all down for it. And then one day he started talking about politics and who he voted for, what he thought about this, and what he thought about that. And everything he said, I was thinking, I can't stand you. <laughs> and I don't want to look at you for two weeks mad, right? And I didn't even have to know that. So try to keep those things off the table, all right? So part of our care as healthcare professionals is we want to give what's called holistic care. That's part of our job. So when I say holistic care, isolate the term whole. We're caring for the mind, the body, and the soul. So in my 20 plus years of healthcare experience, I've seen it change dramatically. It went from the bedside, caring, sponge bath, to what do you want, I got a chart, and get out the room, make it quick. So we're treating healthcare patients like Honda car parts. And we're going down the factory line, and we're just focusing on bathe, feet, dress, it's called like bathe, and we got to snap out of that, especially in nursing homes. Uh, hospitals is not as bad because you're in like an in-and-out setting, but nursing home is their home. How can we make it feel like home for them? So instead of bathing, feeding, dressing, answering call lights, take interest in what they like to do. Uh, simple things. A lot of them don't go outside. They never go outside unless they have an appointment. So we want to do that. Do you think that's because they're understaffed? It could be understaffed, but honestly, honestly, and you'll see it, I see a lot of people sit down on their cell phones. Oh. A lot. So, and I don't, I don't judge because I like to sit down on my